What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I asked the question of whether the fawn should be nerfed while well, giving you guys uh, my personal opinion and also solutions as to how to nerf this weapon while still keeping that massive punch this thing packs. Now in the description below is a straw poll where you guys can vote yes or no on whether you think this weapon should be nerfed or not and I'll give it a few days and I'll send it straight to Bungie personally. So be sure to check out that poll and vote yes or no on whether you think the fawn should be nerfed. Okay so getting into the video, the fawn is a weapon you can obtain by completing the light in the dark exotic bounty which you can obtain randomly when cashing in them daily bounties. Steps to these bounties which need to be completed to obtain this weapon are as follows. Step 1, complete the summoning pits on the moon. Step 2, earn 500 points by killing hive on the moon. Step 3, use void damage to defeat guardians in the crucible. Step 4, obtain an infusion of light from the speaker. And step 5, kill exile the unwed. So to be honest, it isn't too difficult to obtain once you have got the exotic bounty. An actual fact, I don't think I play with anybody or know anybody who don't actually own the Fawn Hand Cannon, making this thing very popular and easy to come across. Now please guys do not get it twisted, the Fawn is a weapon I do use and do actually quite good with. My opinion has nothing to do with how much I enjoy or hate this weapon. Now in the past I've had countless people tell me this weapon is too powerful for what it is. But the major hate towards this weapon I noticed came about when the Trials of Osiris started and 50% of people soon realised the Fawn is a monster for this game type and started using it. And now the Trials of Osiris is basically ran by Fawns to the point for me where at least one person in every single game I have played over the past 3 or 4 weeks has been using a Fawn, whether that be on my team or the enemy team. For me personally, it isn't my first choice of weapon, but will 90% of the time pull out my fawn when I get annoyed by somebody else using it. I mean, if you can't beat them, you join them. It's as simple as that. Now let's take a look at this weapon and the punch it packs in that PvP slash trials of Osiris. Now this weapon will shoot 3 bullets per second, meaning it shoots 180 rounds per minute, capable of emptying its entire clip in 3.15 seconds. Now the damage this thing dishes out is remarkable. Now not including final round or mark of the devourer here, it does 56 to the body on average and 84 to the head. If you include mark of the devourer, which only comes into play once every chain of bullets you land on an enemy until it wears off. It will do 98 to the body and 126 to the head, easily making this weapon a two shot kill. With final round and mark of the devourer, this thing does 117 to the body and 154 to the head, which is absolute massive power. Damage per second without mark of the devourer is 168 to the body and 252 to the head and it reloads as standard in 3 seconds. The fawn also has incredible range and great stability, easily making this weapon able to compete with scout rifles and sniper rifles across map, which really shouldn't be the case. So you guys can see by its stats this fawn is a monster of a weapon and in my opinion, and this is coming from someone who actually likes and enjoys the weapon, I think it does need a nerf. And I actually think Bungie may have something planned. If they don't, they are planning it. I can guarantee you that. Trials of Osiris has become unbearable to many people because of this one weapon. Yes, a lot of people complained about Final Round and how cheap it is, which in my opinion, it is pretty cheap. But people will use what they need to use to win. Trials of Osiris is a competitive knockout game mode. You'd be stupid not to use the weapons which help you win the game. And this goes for the Fawn. The thing about the Fawn is it's capable on every map. Final Round Snipers ain't. And people know this so they take advantage and you cannot blame them whatsoever. But this is the very thing that makes a game mode become stale really quickly. The point of everyone using the same weapon, it doesn't allow other people to use other weapons either because they just don't stand a chance and will always find themselves coming back to the fawn. And it's this very reason I believe 
Bungie have something planned for this weapon like they did with auto rifles and pulse rifles. Pulse rifles were useless at one stage where auto rifles absolutely owned. Because auto rifles were being overused Bungie nerfed them to the point of them being absolute garbage. And because pulse rifles were non-existent in PvP Bungie buffed them to the point of them being the best type of weapon to use in PvP. And this is the case with the fawn. They know it is being overused and I believe they will take action to balance it out. But like what they did with auto rifles, I don't think they need to ruin the weapon with a nerf. This is what I think they should do. Lower critical damage from 84 to 75 and lower damage caused by Mark of the Devourer to 30 from 42. This way, two critical hits won't kill, even with Mark of the Devourer, but three headshots will. Lower body shot damage to 45 from 56. This way it will take 4 body shots to kill. Also making it so that landing 2 body shots and 1 headshot still won't kill. Even with Mark of the Devourer. Maybe only have Mark of the Devourer come into play if you land a headshot. But I do think they definitely need to nerf that range. Maybe decrease it by 25 to 40%. That would be fine. Apply my ideas to the fawn. I believe will make people with that true gun skill stand out and still own people with the fawn but that's just my personal opinion but guys that is what I think of the fawn but like I have said I do think Bungie have got a nerf planned for this weapon let me know what you guys think about the fawn down below in that comment section do you enjoy using it do you think it's overpowered let me know down below don't forget guys if you want to vote yes or no on whether this weapon should be nerfed check out the straw poll in the video description like i said in a few days i will send it directly to bungie but guys i hope you enjoyed the video do drop a like i do appreciate the support if you guys want to get that dpj apparel there is a link in the video description and you can rock my sexy ass clothes thanks for stopping by as always and peace out until next time peace